Hi everyone, so in this video I'll be showing you how to use the Casio FX CG50 whilst working through um, the questions from the Corbett Maths website which is the booklet on cubic graphs. So let's have a look. As we turn over we can see a page that we've seen before and um, the setup where a table of values and then a set of axes. If you haven't watched my videos on drawing straight line graphs and drawing quadratics I might go slightly too fast for you on this one so if I do please do refer back to one of those. Firstly turn the calculator on and I'm going to go to the table option first. So I don't have to delete any of my others I've still got um, from 15 onwards to use up and I'm going to do that for now x to the power of 3, now come out of that, down to the main calculating line again, subtract 2x plus 3, there we go. I'm going to set my table, this time at negative 2, finishing at 2, exit, do my table. Remember, these are my x values, these are my y values, and this is my gradient at each of those points. We'll leave that on, but we don't need that for the table. So when x is negative 2, y is negative 1, negative 1 is 4, 0 is 3, 1 is 2, 2 is 7. There we go. I know I just want to see what that's going to look like. So menu, 5, just check which ones I've selected. Oh, I don't want that one. I'm going to draw. Okay, so we've got a line that looks like that, sort of not line, a curve. So it's sort of a, a really nice smooth curve with a maximum going then down to a minimum and back up again. So let's plot that on here. A negative two is at negative one. Negative one is at four. Zero is at three. One is at two. And two is at seven. So remember, we're not joining with straight lines here, it's a curve where this here is a maximum and this is a minimum. Okay, so to help me with that, I'm just going to do everything freehand and see how it goes. If I take my page, make sure I go through each of my points. Here we go, nice, smooth, deliberate curve. There we go. So that is my curve for the graph of y equals x cubed, subtract 2x plus 3, from negative 2 up to 2. Let's look at the next one. That's asking you for the same thing. And so is the last one. So there are only three questions on that one, all the same. Great practice for cubic graphs because they are different than the others. So please do work through that and use your calculator to help you. So thank you very much. That's the end of my video on cubic graphs using the Casio FX CG50. Goodbye.